Module 11.2, String Instruments. With this module, we'll begin to introduce different instrument families. Each family has certain characteristics that determine which instrument category they belong to. String instruments have a vibrating string as the source of the sound. The filter for most string instruments is the body of the instrument, which is typically a resonant hollow body with one or more openings. Members of the string family include violins, violas, cellos, bass, guitars, ukuleles, banjos, mandolins, and lutes. The harp and the piano are also members of the string family, but they have soundboards as filters rather than the body of the instrument. They have other characteristics that make them members of other instrument families as well. You've already studied some of the properties of a vibrating string. You should recall that the frequency of a vibrating string is determined by its length, mass, and tension, and that the formula is F equals 1 over 2L times the square root of T over mu. So frequency is proportional to tension and inversely proportional to length and linear mass density of the string. String players tune their instruments by turning the tuning pegs. This changes the tension of the string. They play different pitches two ways. First, by playing on different strings. The lower pitch strings are generally thicker than the higher pitch strings, so except for piano and harp, that allows the strings on each instrument to be the same length. The thicker the string, the greater the linear mass density, and the lower the pitch. They also change pitch by pressing the strings onto the fingerboard with their fingers. This changes the vibrating length of the string. Now, if you recall the first day of class, I had two violins of different sizes, and they turned out to be the same pitch. On the smaller violin, the strings were shorter, and the strings were a smaller diameter. So if that was the case, how could they be the same pitch? If the string is shorter, the pitch should be higher. If the string is thinner, the pitch should be higher. So how can they be the same pitch? What's left? Tension. Lower tension brings down the pitch. The tension on the string on small-sized violins is generally much lower than that on larger violins. Some string instruments, guitars, banjos, ukuleles, and lutes, have frets on the fingerboards. These are small strips of metal positioned so that the pitch of each string changes by a semitone as the fingers go from one fret to the next. Orchestral strings violin, viola, cello, and bass, do not have frets, so the players have to know exactly where to place their fingers in order to play in tune. Because a string itself displaces very little air as it vibrates, a resonating body needs to be attached to amplify the sound. The body of a string instrument acts in a similar fashion to a Helmholtz resonator that has many resonances. The shape of the instrument and the different shapes of the openings define the characteristic sound of the instrument. Plucking a string causes a variety of harmonics to be excited, and these depend on where and how hard the string is plucked. Bowing a string creates vibrations in a different manner. The bow is made of horsehair and coated with rosin, which makes it sticky. The bow hair pulls the string, and when the tension is too much for the rosin, the string snaps back. The continual bowing causes this to repeat. The displacement of the string is similar to a sawtooth wave. Remember that a sawtooth wave has all harmonics with an amplitude equal to 1 over n, so it is rich in harmonic frequencies.
The body of a good string instrument has many resonances and is responsible for a large part of the timbre of the instrument. Many things affect the resonance of the instrument, such as the thickness of the wood, the type of wood and glue used, how the instrument is held, the materials used for the strings, and how the instrument is played. There are a number of techniques that affect the sound of the instrument. We mentioned plucking, pizzicato, and bowing, arco. There's also col legno, where they tap the strings with the wood of the bow, and others. String players are often asked to play harmonics, where the player lightly touches the string instead of pressing it onto the fingerboard. This gives a lighter, thinner, and airier sound quality to the note. Electric guitars and electric bass guitars do not have hollow bodies, so they do not have resonating bodies. They depend on electronics and amplifiers to modify and amplify the sound of the vibrating strings. Fretted string instruments have a small issue regarding intonation. When a player presses on the fretboard, the string bends slightly around the fret. This changes the tension of the string enough so that the pitch rises and makes the instrument slightly out of tune. So guitars have to have string compensation. This is a slight adjustment of the length near the bridge end of the string. To review, string instruments have a vibrating string as the source of their sound. The filter for most string instruments is the body of the instrument. String players tune their instruments by turning tuning pegs, and this changes the tension of the string. String players play different pitches by either playing different strings or by pressing the strings onto the fingerboard with their fingers, which changes the length of the string. The frequency of a string can be determined by the formula F equals 1 over 2L times the square root of T over mu. The displacement of a bowed string is similar to a sawtooth wave. A plucked string introduces a pulse, which excites all the string's harmonics. <laughs>